guys, my name is Shanda and today I'm going to show you how to do a shepherd's carry with a size 4 woven wrap. So I'm going to put my little guy down here for a second. Now uh, what I have here is actually um, a Diddy Azure 55. Um, it's typically a blue, but this has been dyed. Um, this is a 55% linen wrap, but it's a size 4. So what you're going to do to start off is actually take your minimum marker, place it on your chest, and then bring this around your back. And this is actually going to be where you're going to put in the center of your child's back. So come here, little buddy. Come here. Ready? Now with my little guy, I actually like to do what's called the Superman toss. So I'm, I have his back facing me. And I simply throw him over my shoulder just like that. Now the way I like to get a secure seat, um, I actually like to put this in my mouth to hold him securely and then uh, you'll see that I'm going to reach under his legs and pull the fabric up and that's going to be how I get the secure seat in a nice deep seat. So this is how I do it. So as you can see when I did that I actually stood up a little bit as well. Um, now you'll see too I have a short end and a long end. Now I'm going to put pin the long end between my legs just for a moment and I'm going to bring the short end up and over my shoulders. And what I like to do is I actually like to match up the rails so I'm going to take this outside rail I'm going to bring it under and line my rails up so now I have both rails here right next to my neck. And now I'm going to work my way across the wrap and just make sure that it's nice and snug. This is called strand by strand tightening. I'm going to take that and I'm going to place it between my legs there just to hold everything that I just tightened nice and securely. And now with the long piece, you're actually going to take that and go under your arm. And you're going to pass this across your baby's back. You're going to even leave the short end um, underneath it. Now to tighten down this, this double hammock part, um, what I like to do is actually pull here on the rail or on the rail across my chest at the same time pulling the coordinating rail up over my shoulder. So I usually do the top and then I tighten down the bottom. And then I usually work kind of in between too. And then I go back to the top and do the top one more time. At this point, you can bring the short, or this rail, was your short, now it's your earlier long, now it's your short. You bring that up over your shoulder. And once again, you gotta match up your rail. So you bring the outside rail under, and you line it up with that top rail. And pull everything tightly. Now, you, now at this point, you can stand right up and you've got everything done. So to tie off, I usually give it one more tighten here, one more tighten there, and you just tie a double knot right in front of your chest. Almost done, little buddy. Tie a double knot. I like to spread the pass just a little bit over my shoulder. Just like that. And uh, that is how you do a shepherd's carry. Now with this, you can even tuck the extra fabric up just a little bit. And he's nice and secure, he's comfy, and so am I. This is one of my favorite carries for a shorty.